Have you ever wondered what it takes to persuade and influence anyone you meet? Well, you're not alone. Persuasion is a skill that has been sought after for centuries, from ancient philosophers to modern day leaders. But it's not just about having a silver tongue or knowing the right words to say, it's about understanding and applying the underlying principles that guide human behavior and decision making. Think about it like baking a cake. You could try to throw some flour, sugar and eggs together and hope for the best. But without a proper recipe or understanding of how these ingredients interact, you're more likely to end up with a kitchen disaster than a delicious dessert. The same goes for trying to sway people without knowing the principles of persuasion. You might get lucky once or twice, but for consistent success, you need a solid foundation. Today we delve into the principles that make persuasion an art form. If you want to see more content about how to develop your own skills, click the like button and subscribe. It's a small click for you, but it means everything to us. Ever heard of give and take? It's not just a saying, it's the principle of reciprocity. This principle, vital in the art of persuasion, spins around a simple yet powerful concept, the more you give, the more you receive. Robert Cialdini, an eminent psychologist and author, places this principle at the heart of his teachings on influence. He suggests, the way to get people to like you is to do something for them. In other words, when we do something for others, we trigger an innate human response. This response, deeply rooted in our social fabric, compels the recipient to return the favor, thus making them more inclined to be persuaded by us. So imagine you're the head chef at a bustling kitchen, and you're crafting a delectable persuasion cake. The first ingredient you'd need is reciprocity. You start by generously sprinkling acts of kindness and genuine help to others. This could be as simple as lending an ear when a colleague needs to vent, or as significant as helping a team member complete a critical project. In doing so, you're not just being altruistic, you're subtly setting the stage for influence. You're creating a sense of indebtedness, a desire in the other person to reciprocate your kindness. It's this desire, this sense of obligation that makes them more likely to heed your words, to be swayed by your arguments, and to follow your lead. Remember, the principle of reciprocity is your first ingredient in the recipe for persuasion. People like to be consistent with their words and deeds. This is a simple yet profound understanding that can be a game changer in your journey to master the art of persuasion. Welcome to the world of commitment and consistency, the dynamic duo of influence. Imagine a friend who promises to help you move to a new apartment. Once they've made that promise, they're likely to follow through, even if it means sacrificing a lazy Sunday. That's commitment and consistency in action. They've made a commitment, and to stay consistent with their words, they honor it. Why does this happen? Well, it's rooted in our desire to appear reliable and consistent to ourselves and others. We don't like to back out of our promises or change our minds frequently. It makes us feel uncomfortable, a phenomenon psychologists call cognitive dissonance. This principle isn't just about making people stick to their words. It's about tapping into that innate desire for consistency to positively influence actions. It's about creating situations where people willingly make small commitments that align with your desired outcome. Once they've committed, they're more likely to stay consistent with their initial action, increasing the chances they'll agree to a larger request later on. Robert Cialdini, the master of persuasion, emphasizes, if people commit orally or in writing to an idea or goal, they are more likely to honor that commitment. That's the magic of commitment and consistency, another vital ingredient in your persuasion recipe. Humans are social beings. We look to others for cues on how to behave. This inherent quality leads us to a principle known as social proof. It's the psychological phenomenon where people replicate the actions of others, especially in unfamiliar situations. Picture this, you're in a new city, and you're unsure where to dine. You see a restaurant bustling with locals. Instinctively you think, if everyone's eating there it must be good. That's social proof in action. Social proof extends beyond everyday decisions. It shapes our beliefs, opinions, and even our actions. It's why testimonials, endorsements, and popularity polls are so influential. They provide evidence that others are following a particular path, making it seem more appealing and trustworthy. But remember, just like any seasoning, it's crucial to use social proof wisely. It's about subtly showing that others trust you or your ideas, not about pressuring someone into conformity. In the words of Darren Hardy, success is 20% skills and 80% strategy. What's your plan to succeed? Social proof, your third ingredient, adds a powerful flavor to your persuasion recipe. 
don't forget to use it. The principle of authority asserts that people follow the lead of credible, knowledgeable experts. This principle is a cornerstone in the mighty edifice of persuasion, and it revolves around one simple truth. People trust expertise. When we're uncertain, we naturally look to those who know more, those who've been there, done that. We're more likely to be persuaded by someone we perceive as an authority figure. Consider this, when you are unwell, would you rather trust a random stranger's advice or your doctor's? The answer is pretty obvious, isn't it? That's the power of authority. It's not about wielding power or control but about demonstrating knowledge, competence and credibility in your field. As Robert Cialdini notes, the expert occupies the highest rung on the ladder of influence. When you establish yourself as an expert, your words carry weight, your advice is sought, and your influence is undeniable. So if you want to persuade, ensure you've got the chops to back up your words. Show your expertise, be credible, and be trustworthy. Authority, the final ingredient, tops off your recipe for persuasion. Influence is an art, and these principles are your paintbrush. Let's recap the colors on our palette. We began with reciprocity, the golden rule of influence, reminding us that the way to win people over is to do something for them. Next, we mixed in commitment and consistency, the influence combo, highlighting how people prefer to stay true to their words and deeds. Then, we added a touch of social proof, the principle of following the crowd, reminding us that we often take cues from others on how to behave. Finally, we crowned our artwork with authority, the persuasive power of expertise, underscoring the influence of credible, knowledgeable experts, each principle a unique color, together creating a persuasive masterpiece. Join us in the next video where we delve into more strategies to amplify your self-development. Until then, may your influence be intentional and your impact undeniable.